and keeps them out of it. But Tunisia came with the 23 caps, 24 to his yeah, uh, name today. Top. But uh, must have taken a big Depending hit on the law, I can in the action. But I have this in mind. No worries. Ça va, trois? Ok, on reprend. Ah, c'est bon. Mark is here. Ok. Time on. Referee. So has called a time on. So the two parts will uh, scrum it. We have gone uh, 15 minutes uh, into this game at the RFUA grounds of the Africa Gold Cup match uh, between uh, Kenya and uh, Tunisia. Kenya leading by 10 points, a try, a conversion and a successful penalty from uh, the team in green. Somo is ready to place that ball in the referee. Wants a steady scrummage from both sides. And Chisanga at the number eight position picks it, plays it to Onsomo. Onsomo looking for the link, the long pass uh, to Tony Opondo on the wing. Tony Opondo looking to stretch the Tunisian defense, but uh, had a foot in touch, uh, and that one uh, will not be for Kenya. <laughs> So Tunisia four. caught in their own Wait, half twice. now. We'll be looking to get out of uh, they are four. this uh, half. Okay. But Kenya will continue to put the pressure. Already having stolen one uh, line out. Hooker uh, Isham Mokni has to be sure with his throw. And uh, the referee says play on. Nice deep kick. Tony Opondo collects it. Good hands. Just stumbles a bit but finds his footing. And decides to go on a run. Beats one man. Gets into a bit of traffic there, sent back by Bel Suda. And looks like it is a turnover, but uh, off, not staying on their feet. And uh, it will be a penalty to Kenya. Referee spot on with that call. Yeah, we play. Here. Play on. Tunisia do have a uh, Mondan that uh, play is uh, continuing. The medical personnel uh, looking and uh, treating the Tunisian player. No mark is here. So Tunisia momentarily down to 14 uh, men. As it will be another set piece for the Kenyan side. Karia with a long throw takes it to the back of Pondo. Plays it to Chenga. Chenga plays it to okay, Adimo. Adimo looking for support. Gets the support on the wide from Mukiza. Mukiza linking up with OJ. OJ looking to beat his man for pace. Back to Mukiza. And a good interplay once again with the wingers. And this time, uh, OJ with the sub assist as Mukiza gets another five pointer for the Kenyan side. Uh, stretching the Tunisians and making this crowd enjoy their rugby. The fans here at the RFU ground just enjoying uh, this uh, excellent piece of uh, rugby from uh, the Kenyan team. Uh, the number 14 and the number 11 combining yet again to give Kenya another five pointer. And it will be the scorer, Davin Kanyingi Mukidza, who himself decides to go for the extras for Kenya. Conversion by Davin Mukidza, good. Scores, Kenya Seymour 17, Tunisia 0. Darwin Mokidza, certainly a finisher, per se, plays for the Kenya Commercial Bank, as does the opposite winger, Jacob Oje, another Kenya Commercial Bank player in this squad. So it's Tunisia 
with another restart. High ball there. This time a solid call catch from the Kenyan side. Tunisia getting there in numbers. But uh, Kenya just able to just collect it. So Kopondo once again, the captain leading from the front, takes the contact, places the ball down. Picked up by the new man, Nyambua. Nyambua does well. Kenya just uh, playing a bit isolated, but uh, looking to have a, a good running game in uh, Oldimu. And Dimo the fly half, lays it to Onsomo. Onsomo Offside. wide, Kenya looking to get some length. It's uh, Ambunya playing it with Opondo, good runs once again. Oje on that flank, just beating players as if uh, there's no one standing in front of him. And it's uh, Seje who presses it to Ambunya. And Ambunya, the second centre, gets his first try of the game. Uh, and Kenya's a third try, making it 22 for Kenya. Good play right from their own half uh, and now finished by David Ambonia. David Ambunya in his 21st game for Kenya. Today, just uh, scoring his uh, first try of the game. The Kenya Halakun Santa also getting onto the scoring sheets uh, for the Kenyan national side known as the Simbas. Once again, it is uh, Darwin Mukidza. He's been 100% so far, both with the penalties and conversion. And we'll be looking to add another two to the score sheet for Kenya. Flags going up, indicating that uh, it's all good for Darwin, uh, taking Kenya's score to 24 points today. went to school in Cape Town and back in Kenya now as standard for both sevens but now preferring to concentrate on the 15s once again it's Kenya with position as Academy of Kenya so had a good run there coming from Seja the Impala man finds Amusala who's had a try the last attack and it's Kenya just once again stretching it's Mukiza on that right flank bumping off the Tunisian defenders and uh, but his foot had stepped on the chalk so it will be a line out much the relief of the Tunisian, Tunisian contingent Sorry, from from Seje, he took the kick off and they just ran it all the way out of their half. Darwin Mokids are there proving that uh, he can also go through the Tunisian defence uh, with ease. Clean line out for the Tunisians, well taken by the big man, Saif Busada. And the Kenya not uh, back the requisite distance, so it will be a penalty, easy penalty giving away. Shouldn't make such mistakes, Kenya. Could be punished by a much better side in other games, and that could be crucial for them. Yeah, just Tunisia now get a chance to get into Kenyan half with a set piece, but looks like he's missed touch. Crucial error at this time of the game. Again, this one man goes down, the tackle that makes the ball available on Somo. Right at the base, plays it to Darwin. Darwin is the first receiver. Definitely coming in, showing in Kenya once again. Get it in because of the data. And they're not keeping it in, but they're playing it wide. He's in that place for Kondo. Still jumps on the Kondo. Looking for the board. Plays it to Kerry. Kerry with his hand easily. And gives Kenya yet another try. The Impala winger supporting the cap. The Impala Blanca supporting the captain very well there. The forwards also having their pizza of this game. Terrace in Thailand's Blanca receiving it from Kopondo. Well, it's uh, Captain Kopondo again. He's been fantastic in attack and he just puts the flanker away. Eric Kere for a great finish. That's an outstanding individual finish to put him over the whitewash. Kenya really in control of this game at the moment. 
much of a cap for his country and also getting uh, his name on the score sheet uh, with a five pointer with 25 minutes played. It is a Darwin McKenzie once again and goes 100%, one penalty and three conversions. It's got four out of four. And we'll be looking to make it a five out of five. A very calm and a consummate kicker he is. Good kicking technique. on the post and his whole concentration from Darwin Mukiza but uh, skews this one uh, way to the left so losing his 100% uh, record as Kenya have a 29 nil lead yeah you just see the break there from Kapondo makes a nice little pass but this is a good finish from uh, Kerry it's a one on one but beats him on the outside with pace very good finish from the uh, flanker once again, the Tunisian in a familiar position of a restarting. Picked up and dropped by Kupenda, but Kopono cleans up. Decides to go straight. Pumping those legs and goes down. Tackle coming in from Yahya Gra. But uh, the referee judges Kopondo to have uh, dropped it forward. So it will be a scrum down uh, to the Tunisians. The captain has had his injury problems, but uh, can see him holding each other. But a good run from him. Good straight run, just gaining the yards. But the referee calling a, a knock forward. Yeah, Kenya have had to receive quite a number of kickoffs only in this first 26 minutes. So uh, they've done well to run those out. But Tunisia want to win this ball from the from the scrum and just try and build themselves into a foothold into the game. They haven't had a lot of possession, defended a lot. Now's their chance to get into it. A word from the referee on how he wants uh, the set pieces. Kenya have had 75% of the possession so far in this game. Mr. Halfi, the Tunisian number nine, is waiting for the signal, gives it. And, uh, stable scrums, Yaya Gra picks it from the base, decides to take on the Kenyan defense by himself. Get the support coming, but uh, it will be a penalty here, to the Tunisian side. On the scrum. As uh, the technical bench assistant coaches of the Kenyan side, Charles Ngovi and uh, Dominic Habimana, just je, consulting. Je sur le talon. Je le regarde, mais je yeah, le I think what we had there was an early break from, uh, from the scrum yeah, with the number eight pickup from Donc, Tunisia. I think the Kenyan flank might have broken early. And this is probably the best attacking position Tunisia have had in the last 26 minutes. And let's see what they do from the line out. So an opportunity for Tunisia. They have lost one out of their four line outs. And uh, it will be the debutant hooker. The debutant hooker Hisham Mokri will be looking to get his uh, throw right. It's like uh, he's being played right to South Posada. He's been a receiver of all of the Tunisian uh, throws and Tunisia now just getting into a tight bunch and looking to just uh, maul it straight to the Kenyan line keeping the position now it's a uh, Yasin Ben Abdallah who goes down uh, Backwards, now, green. The ball at the base picked up once again and Tunisia still just grinding their way through the traffic not wanting to play it wide and Kenyan Run defense away, just scrambling to keep the Tunisians at bay the Tunisians are close to the line so we'll be looking to get their first five pointer if they can continue with this euphoria they haven't made any mistakes yet still surging and looking for that chalk and going down again it's a defense all the way for Kenya and Tunisia playing some creative rugby and played wide and this time going down and it is a try the first try to Tunisia and they did work hard for the time one of the big men and it is uh, Yasin Ben Abdallah who gets the first five points for Tunisia. Yeah, all came from Busada's take in the line out. He's the big man for My Tunisia. Tunisia. Just set up the drive, put it Tunisia. to ground, and then it was just about inching away to the try line. And they did that. Gives Tunisia a chance to get back into this game now. So Kenyan defense uh, breached uh, for the first time there by the Tunisian side. Actually, the try scorer was uh, the number one uh, Ashram. Brev Hamuda and Hossam Healthy waiting for the tee so that uh, he can actually I take his, uh, uh, go for, for his two points. Tunisia have made one change and uh, they have brought uh, Uibadala Dagfus, the number 23, 
We shall just uh, give you the name of uh, whom he has replaced. And yet they have their injury problems. And having made the first uh, substitution uh, at the half hour. But uh, a good return for their efforts. Breaching the Kenyan defense and getting their first five-pointer. Yeah, really making some early substitutions, Tunisia. They did this in their game against Namibia last week, making substitutions before the halfway mark. And here we just see Tunisia with their takeoff nine. Three players all bound up, just drove their way over the try line. So Dafus comes in for Werhani. So number 12, unable to continue in this game. There will be a bit of uh, reorganization in that uh, Tunisian uh, back line with uh, the new man uh, Dafkus slotting in at uh, second center. Actually, at first center in place of uh, Usam Arhami. Aldimo with a kick. Good take there coming in from Sejad. The Impala center did well. Breaking defense and finds Usomu. Usomu racing towards the line, goes down. No tackle, not held. And beautiful try there, right from the kickoff. Uh, the two Impala players combining well, Seje and Onsomo, just are making uh, this crowd uh, cheer yet again, uh, right from the kickoff. Well, Kenya goes straight back at them, and that's the great trait from Leo Seje. Not only is he good in receiving kickoffs coming towards him, but chasing kicks too. Or floats to Onsomo, he's powerful when he carries, and he gets over the try line. So Kenya hits straight back against Tunisia. Then uh, Samson Onsomo plays his club rugby at Impala and uh, this is his fourth cap for the national side and uh, he caps it with a try, well worked try this afternoon here at the IRFA grounds. It's a Darwin Mukidza. He was the captain uh, during the Uganda game here but uh, today reverts, reverts back to his playing role on the wing as well as his kicking role with the captain Kopondo back uh, in the side. But uh, yet again, one of those senior influential players for this Kenyan side as he looks to add another two to the Kenyan score. The flag goes up, making it a 36 of 5 for Kenya. Yeah, you just see the great aerial skills from Leo Seje. He's been fantastic in all the kickoffs. And then just, you see Ansomo running up on his inside shoulder, offload, scrambles to the try line. Well, uh, it's the captain Abbas Harfami himself again with another kickoff. As uh, Tunisia possibly looking to make another change. Kenya haven't been taking those uh, kickoffs clean, but another run forward. Tunisian scrambling to catch Chisanga, the Newcastle man, just running with the support, but uh, picked up by Onsomo. That one goes wide, and it is Jack of OJ with yet another try. That one created by Chisanga, assisted by Onsomo, and finished by Jack of OJ again from kickoff. Now we see the new so Newcastle Falcons, number eight, Chisango, powerful carrier, makes the offload, but it None other than Ansomo, he's everywhere today. And just put Saji in the corner. Really, the gates are opening for Kenya. Just 10 minutes to the half. So the Tunisians having a bit of a discussion at the back as to their, where their non-existent defense has gone. Because the Kenya just are running through and cutting through the Tunisian players. Missed tackles are plenty. Coming in from the Tunisian side, something that coach Hedi Mohamed Ali will not be too pleased when he gets an opportunity at the break to speak to his team. But Kenya having the highway open here for them from the Tunisian side and running through. Darwin Mukidza has scored 16 points so far in this game and contributing to a good percentage of uh, Kenya's scores and we'll be looking to add another two this time uh, from uh, close to the touchline so it is one of those uh, difficult kicks but uh, a man of his uh, caliber a man of his experience uh, should find it too difficult to get that ball between the sticks A 
That one, uh, just some missing uh, the far post for Darwin. And uh, Kenya remaining 41 5 ahead. Well, Tunisia will be very disappointed how easy it is for Kenya to score these tries. Chisango, the powerful carrier, down to Nsomu, and then OG, the prolific try scorer in the corner. And it is uh, Karfami, the captain, once again. He's been uh, practicing his uh, kickoffs. And Kenya yet again not cleanly taking those balls from kickoff, something that uh, Jerome Pawata will have to address. And it's Tunisia away the possession at this time. It's uh, Hamza Baki just uh, barging through and the new man into the picture. And of course, uh, playing it right. Tunisia looking to run it wide as well. And a good break there. Kenya missing tackles. And uh, this one looks like it will be an easy try for the Tunisian Ashraf Diff uh, on the right wing. Uh, Kenya went to sleep there. Uh, Tunisia finding another hole in the Kenyan defense. Well, it's back and forth rugby here. Tunisia moving the ball wide. Probably the first bit of quality position they've had. Came from the kickoff that was dropped by Chisango. They moved it left, then used the full width to go right with the wing in the corner. A lot of back and forth rugby here, but Kenya certainly the dominant team. Mohamed Ashraf Difa with an easier try i don't think he'll get an easier try than that uh, to score so kenya just uh, having a bit of a consultation their defense totally absent uh, with that score by tunisia 41 10 the score they do dominate but uh, it's mistakes like those that could be punished by opponents uh, looking uh, towards meeting they will be looking towards meeting in uh, this uh, competition they do have to play namibia they do have to play zimbabwe they do have to play senegal so that was something that uh, Jerome Powater will not be too, too pleased with uh, in this game. The kick wide, the scores remaining 41 10, still in favor of Kenya. So, for re looking at his clock, should be about uh, three minutes left minutes, uh, of this uh, very seconds. entertaining and high scoring Who's indeed up, first half. Uh, of this uh, contest between uh, Kenya, Kenya in green, and the Tunisia in uh, their white and red uh, strip. This one uh, tapped back by Kenya on Somo. Plays Provada, plays it to Adimo. Adimo plays it to Ambunya. Ambunya just looking for the uh, support player, but decides to take the contact himself. Okay, just okay. Uh, runs towards Opondo, filling in at scrum half. Adimo once again looking for a runner. Does get one in the, with the Chenge playing it wide. And still Kenya running hard towards the Tunisians. It's Nyambwa filling in together with Chisanga. Chisanga beats one man, beats a second. And just looks as he's racing to the line with yet another try. Good run there by Chisanga. This time uh, gets himself uh, onto the scoreboard, uh, finishing uh, that uh, move started by Adimo. And his teammates are congratulating him. Uh, and it was Chisanga just beating one man, handing off uh, and pumping those legs uh, as he raced towards the line. Maybe just a run out with a bit of breath there as he scored that try. So the Kenyan physio just uh, having uh, a look at Joshua Chisanga, the latest Kenyan try scorer. Kenya at uh, 46 points uh, with about uh, two minutes and a half to play in this game. So Chisanga a bit winded there, possibly just uh, fell on the ball as he scored the try so he will be treated to get his uh, breath back but his discussions on the Tunis and Beth uh, the coach Hedy Mohammed Ali not pleased with uh, what can be described as an invisible defense uh, tactic being employed by his uh, players here missing tackles not even just missing tackles but uh, not even attempting to tackle the Kenyans uh, who are running at will here at the RFUA games 46 points already with uh, 39 minutes played in this first half, uh, it's a try scoring first here at the RFU grounds for Kenya Simbas. Darwin Mokidza unable to put that between the sticks. But uh, the move started once again by Seje. Seje finding Nyambua and Chisanga breaching through that Tunisian defense. Good, powerful runner. The man from Newcastle, Fanscones, enjoying his time uh, with the national team here. And Kenya not uh, unable once again to catch the ball from the restart. 
And it's Tunisia now just uh, making a break. It's the half scrum half. Uh, Husham Halfi plays it to the centre. Saidif El Rahman. And uh, once again, Tunisia with some bit of possession looking to break through the Kenyan defence. But uh, it's Kopondo who does well to wrap up Abed. And it's Helfi just plays it wide, finding it to Nasser Mili. Nasser Mili once again looking to breach that Kenyan defence. A tackle coming in from Kerry. Nice tackle from Kerry. But it's Tunisia who is a possession. Pass your play for them, and it is a big Lel Suka who just gains Taka! ground for the Tunisians. So the Tunisians making oh. use of the ball and making good ground here as they inch towards the Kenyan try line. The big men now looking to make their presence felt, but that one dropped by Hamza Baki, picked up by Kenya. Kopondo once again doing the cleanup, and Curtis Lilako decides enough is enough and puts it out of the field of play as the referee calls it half time with both teams relieved as the break. Couldn't have come at a better time. Kenya comfortably ahead. Tunisia will need to go back to the drawing board and try and stop this uh, rampage in Kenya. 46-10, the halftime score. Kenya 46, uh, Tunisia 10 at halftime. The changing rooms are uh, receiving cup talk from their coaches. Uh, Kenya leading 46 uh, 10 
against the Tunisian team here in this uh, Rugby Africa. And this is the story of the first half. Jacob Oje opening uh, with the first try of the game. Yeah, the gates of uh, you really feel the gates have opened for uh, Kenya in this game. Running a lot of tries. OG on the end of that first one. He's been pretty confident, confident in this game. Got a lot of ball in his hands. You see him again here. But not only is he a finisher, he's a passer. Links with his right wing for the second score. That was Darwin Moketa. This time again we see T. Eric Kerry receiving a good pass from Wilson Kopondo, the captain, to get Kenya's third try in this contest. The Tunisians did pull one back through the big man Ashraf Ben Hamouda with the first five-pointer. But uh, that was just a brief interlude into the Kenyan scoring as uh, Seje once again became provider for Onsomu, who scored his first try for the Kenyan team. This is the great carry from Chisango. He's a powerful number eight, very fast, carries the ball nearly 60 meters up the pitch, gets a fan down the offload. Onsomu picks up, puts Oji in the corner. Great try. And the Tunisia were looking to hit back once again, and it was the winger, Ashraf Daif, who did catch Kenya napping at the back to get Tunisia's second try here at the RFA game. But it was only a brief interlude as Chisanga beating the entire Tunisian defense to score yet another try. And looking at the numbers for the game, Kenya with seven tries to Tunisia's two. Better performance in the line, also winning three out of four. Handling errors, Kenya, an alarming five errors to Tunisia's one, with two turnovers conceded to compare to Tunisia's three, four tr penalties conceded apiece, but uh, possession for Kenya has been 66% to Tunisia's 34. Yeah, you can see the possession stats are pretty crucial in that first half, 66% to Kenya, and they score seven tries from it, so they have had more handling errors, but they have had more possession, and they've turned a lot of that possession into tries. 46 10 half times, a big score. So, both teams uh, will be looking to reduce the error rate in the second half. Thank you. 
Well, we're back at the RFA grounds. Both teams out of the changing rooms, and the referee just awaiting from the signal to get this second half underway here at the RFA grounds. Kenya leading 46-10 against Tunisia in this game. Both coaches uh, will have a lot to say to the teams uh, during the halftime break. Jerome Powerwater for Kenya certainly will want Kenya to improve on the receiving uh, during their kickoffs, uh, while Hedi Muhammad Ali will only ask his team uh, to just make more tackles uh, in the second half uh, at a minimum. Isaac Kadimo ready to get the game underway for Kenya. This second half of, of this uh, Rugby Africa Gold Cup match, uh, and it's uh, the kickoff right by the Kenyan team. Uh, commentary continuing in the booth here. It's uh, Herbert Mwachiro together with uh, Liam Middleton. Uh, Liam Middleton, you may have seen him uh, in the seventh circuit for both uh, Canada and Zimbabwe, but uh, this afternoon uh, being reduced to supporting me here in the, common, in the commentary booth. Yeah, great to be here in Kenya. Had very uh, good memories of, of coaching on this ground in the Safari Sevens and uh, Great to watch this game. Wait. But you really feel that I'm Tunisia have I'm got to get into this game early. They may need an early score here to claw something back. And Kenya will really want to keep the pressure on Tunisia. So it is uh, Carlos Lilaco. So it's Peter Kaaria, sorry, yeah, with the, the first uh, line out for Kenya in the second half. Good catch by Kopondo. And they are just a racing towards the line. And that one looks like a simple try for the Kenyan side. Easy from the set piece uh, and uh, put down by Chisanga, Ch Chenge, sorry. And you can see it straight from the lineout. Fantastic lineout. Wilson Kapondo at the back, the captain, takes a great lineout right in the tip of his fingertips and then sets up the more pretty easy drive for Kenya there. I think Tunisia will be disappointed with their physicality in trying to stop that more. Indeed, uh, Chenge, the try scorer for Kenya, the first uh, of the second half. Kenya already passed the half century marker now at uh, 51 points in this game. Uh, it's like uh, they want to make sure that they have uh, a very good points uh, differential, differ differential coming out of the same. And it will be Darwin Mukidza, five out of eight so far in this game, just a slightly over 50% in terms of uh, the kicking percentages uh, we'll be hoping to add another two to the kenyan scoreline not good for darwin so the score remains at 51 points for kenya but the worst possible start for tunisia yeah see them all Binds up quite well, good height on them, good bo good uh, formation to that. But it was a pretty easy drive to come in. Tunisia not physical at all in stopping that more. Well, Abbas Harfami with another kick for the Tunisians. This time Chisanga makes it clean, catch for Kenya. Takes the contact and goes down on somewhere at the base. Little to Adimo, Adimo hasn't kicked anything, always preferring to distribute, looking for a runner, Nyambua. Man from uh, Homeboys getting his start there, nice Ambunya, Ambunya with a strong, powerful run. Just uh, playing around with the Tunisian defense and decides to go down on some good play there. Amusala, uh, big man just rushing at that Tunisian defense, looking for holes, but no holes found yet. Also, on Somo plays it wide, and Dima, Isaac looking for opportunities. Uh, Seje this time on the right flank decides to put it ball to foot looking for Mukiza. Mukiza wraps up his opposite number uh, with Abdallah and Kenya just looking to drive it off uh, and do well but uh, referee allowing play to continue. So Tunisia retaining possession of that ball and uh, this time they just get it away and the big man once again uh, it's Yaya Gra just taking it into contact and straight to ground. Harfi looking to play it wide, but Abdallah is caught there, wrapped up by Kere. Good defense work there by, being done by Eric Kere. The Impala man certainly has his eyes open today, looking to improve his attack all rate. Was disappointing against Uganda, but uh, definitely has put in the hard yards this afternoon at the RFA ground. Tunisia still with the possession, now looking to play it wide, and a uh, mistake. Hands of uh, Saif Abdurrahman letting him down. Kenya being allowed to play the advantage. 
and it's on Somu looking for Tony Opondo. Curls, nice step there. And it's a Tony Onyango with a try for Kenya. Good step from the fullback, adding to Kenya's points tally. It all came from the handling area from Tunisia, and Kenya playing smart, using the advantage, turned over the ruck and played it. And Onyango comes from deep in the backfield with pace. Tony Onyango gets over the try line. Try scorer for Kenya. Tony Onyango, the try scorer there, just walking back to position. Good vision from him. And the Darwin Mukiza with the, the extras for Kenya. Kenya have made two substitutions. And, uh, and once again, we see the try from Onyango. A good step there. Just uh, putting the Tunisian defense at sea. Remember, big time, the Kenya Timbers bring in changes. Dennis Karami, Peter Berrier. So, changes by Kenya. The whole front row for Kenya going off. So, it's a rest for Amusala, a rest for Karia, and a rest for Karani. So, it is Oscar Simiu, Philippe Kambili, together with Curtis Lilako, who have come in for the Kenyan side, as well as Martin Oweda who comes in uh, the back row position. So a raft of changes by Kenya. Yeah, probably a good time for them. They're well ahead in this game. And just giving their bench an opportunity to come on the field and contribute. So probably a good decision from coach Jerome Pavata. We talked there about Adimo's stats on run and pass and kick. He's, he's run most of it and, and uh, passed most of it. Not a lot of kicking, but he can afford to do that 58-10 up. And it's uh, Philippe Kambeli winning his second cap for the Kenyan side. Plays for homeboys. And uh, that's one lost by Kenya. So Kenya not able to tidy up. And now being put to defense by the Tunisian side. And, uh, scrum off Herfi with that box kick. Now catch by the big member eight and plays it to Bila Sukar. Soka keeps retention. Uh, Tunisia, pass going astray, picked up the new man, Nasar Misui. Misui plays it wide, a bit scrappy from the Tunisian now, Oid Abdallah, going backwards instead of moving forwards, and uh, runs into Man Mountain, Chenge. Chenge brings him down, and still Tunisia managing to keep possession okay. from that uh, scrappy bit of play. And they are looking to get out of their own half. Nice hands there. Now, excellent play by Tunisia. They are breaching the Kenyan defense, but uh, the number 10 looking for support. And that's on more of a hospital pass uh, as uh, Ashraf Diff just tackled once again by the Kenyan defense. But the Kenyan defense scrambling to get back into position. Oid Abdallah being brought down by Chenge. Tunisia keeping a good possession. Have made a good 50 yards in this game so far from that possession. But it's standing passes from the Tunisians. Uh, Saif Basuda plays it wide now, kick over, looking for the number eight, but easily picked up by Tony upon but it will be a penalty back. The hand was already out from the referee, so Tunisia will get an opportunity either to go for a three or maybe if they're ambitious enough, uh, look to create a try from uh, a line-out. Probably the most enterprising play we've seen from Tunisia so far in this game. Moving Kenya side to side, some good passes. Unfortunately, not really running onto the ball, and that's not really a threat to Kenya. who can just come up and make their tackles. But they do concede the penalty, and I think the decision may be here to, to play it out of hand or go to the corner, and they choose to go to the corner. Abbas Karfami deciding to show that uh, Tunisia do have ambition. They don't want the three, they want to go for a five, but uh, that uh, kick, I think, uh, went off the, behind the flag. Mark is here. Hooker on the left. The referee has called it back for a scrum down. A good crowd turning out here at the RFU ground, enjoying their rugby. Certainly, the scores by the home team uh, giving the crowd satisfaction. Uh, 
this afternoon. Both sides just packing it. The referee wants them to be on the mark. Nice quality scrummaging is what uh, we're looking for here. On Somo. Waiting for the referee giving the go-ahead. And that one uh, just uh, right under the feet of the hooker. Picked up by Willa. Good run by Darwin Mukeza goes down. On Somo at the base. Plays it wide. A run coming from Nyambo. Nyambo takes his man. Goes straight through. Goes down. On Somo once again. Providing that quick ball. And uh, it's Kenya looking to play it wide. Ambunya plays it to OJ. OJ, good magic feet. Plays it inside. It's Seje. Seje breaks its way to the post and will put it right under for a center post try. Excellent play by Kenya. Leo Seje, the Impala player who gets his who was getting his first start this afternoon for the national team uh, makes it 63 for Kenya. Yeah, it all came from great passing from the Kenyan team. Really putting bullets across with their passes. Ball in front of the man and they're able to run onto the ball. And then it's that player, OG. He's been outstanding. See the quality of pass here. OG's got great feet. Beats his man. But a well-weighted pass inside. And Leo Seji has been outstanding in this game. These two players linking up very well. Good try from Kenya. Excellent running lines by the Kenyan backs, just uh, finding themselves, uh, receiving easy passes. Just totally, totally confusing uh, this uh, Tunisian defense. Uh, it's a Darwin looking to make it seven out of uh, 11. He's got six out of 10 so far. So Darwin Mokita for Kenya makes it 65. Certainly, Liam, this will be Kenya's the biggest uh, winning margin against the Tunisian side. It will be Kenya's biggest winning margin against the Tunisian side if it continues at this rate. Yeah, and there's still a lot of time to play in this game. And Kenya playing with all sorts of enterprise. Here we got Chisanga going to take this kickoff. Play on! Unfortunately, Tunisia get the ball. And Chisanga unable to take, and it's a run by Ashaf Diff. Kenya have been Ball. bad, very, very bad at the restart. Unable to collect the kickoffs. And it is Tunisia now. 34 missed tackles in this game against Kenya's nine missed. And a good return there. So Tunisia being stopped in their tracks. But they're still keeping the possession. Hopefully looking for a third try in this game. A third opportunity to breach the Kenyan defense. But Kenya standing firm. Oscar Simiu there. Second half respect, substitute respect. just uh, putting in uh, his uh, first tackle of the game. And again, good play coming in from Chisanga. Now Kenya turning over possession on Somo. He gives it out. And it's Ambunya. Ambunya tries to put it to foot, but that runs straight out. Very bad decision by Ambunya. Maybe should have just kept it in hand. Well, that statistic is not good reading for... Um for Tunisia, 34 missed tackles in any game is a lot, and you're never going to get close to uh, any team of any quality with 34 missed tackles. But it's also a testament to Kenya's hard running forwards and backs and the quality of their passing. So well done to Kenya on that. So Tunisia do have uh, a man down, so play will stop as uh, the Tunisian player does get treatment. Kenya making another change in the back line, bringing in uh, Dennis Mohanji. And uh, Mohanji taking the place of uh, David Ambunya. So Ambunya also being uh, given time to rest. So Kenya making a raft of changes. Uh, but uh, you, watched, uh, you, you watched Tunisia last time round uh, against Namibia. No improvement so far. No, they haven't certainly put some things in place this week to get to be an improved side. Defense was pretty poor last week. One thing I would say is that they have attacked with a little bit more endeavor than last week. They were very direct, played into Namibia's hands. Today they've moved the ball around a little bit, so they'll be pleased with that. But this is a big score against Kenya. Instead of Joshua, he's Tony. So the injury count just mounting for the Tunisian side. Not a good sight when you see a player going off uh, injured. So we do wish him uh, 
a speedy recovery. But Kenya making more changes. And Steve Otieno, the number 20, on debut this afternoon, makes his first appearance in the colors of the national team. So Chisanga slotting it at number eight uh, will replace uh, Joshua. Otieno replacing Joshua Chisanga. So play about to resume. It is a Tunisian uh, lineup, but they do want to make another change, Tunisia. Uh, they are looking to call off the hooker. So the referee just uh, asking Tunisia to hurry up uh, with the changes, and they do bring in uh, Hamza Begi. So Hamza Begin goes in at uh, hooker. So he with the, wins his seventh cap of uh, his uh, rugby international career. Wait for my whistle. Whistle. And uh, Simon. that line out for Tunisia has to be clean, has to be sure, has to be good. Picked up by Hamdi oh. Mitri, who's also on in the second half. So Tunisia hoping that they can at least push the Kenyan pack, but the Kenyan pack standing firm. There's a bit of ground being gained by Tunisia. 53 minutes played in this uh, game so far. And now they play it wide, looking to stretch the Kenyan defense. Good run coming in from the captain Abbas, but uh, held in the tackle there. Good tackling in coming in from uh, Muhanji. Muhanji's first tackle of the game. Tunisia looks showing a bit of enterprise. As uh, Hamza Mbarki just uh, likes to play it well, but uh, a pass to no one. That one going astray sums up Tunisia's play so far. Yeah, last week against Namibia, they were very direct in the attack, and at least they're attempting to put some width on the game and threaten Kenya, but just not able to keep the ball. Handling here is letting them down, and Kenya get the ball back. A chance for them. I expect them to probably run this out. No need to play an exit play. Chance to have another go at Tunisia. Simiyu, the new man in the hooker's position. Nice throw, collect throw, picked up. And it's Kenya looking to attack. OJ coming in from the flank, attacking into the midfield. Onsomo plays it wide. Adima had a decoy runner, but plays it wide to Mukiza. Mukiza on his motorbike, puts it over, and the chase is on. And collected by, oh, missed by Muhanji. A golden opportunity for Dennis Muhanji to get his name on the scroll sheet, but uh, didn't have the hands to appreciate Mukiza's kick. Yeah, it was a really clever little kick over the top, just kept the ball in play, otherwise he would have gone into touch. But unfortunately, couldn't regather that ball. Would have been an easy score for them, but good kick from the left with Mukiza. So Tunisia escape there. Not conceding uh, another five-pointer. Kenya Simba have seven handling errors compared to Tunisia's three. And uh, yet another change for Kenya with the uh, outstanding scrum up uh, Samson Osomu being put to rest and Lila Silegua coming on as his replacement. So Kenya giving a bench a good run as well. Some of the fringe players uh, getting some good game time here. Tunisia, the big number eight. Yaya Gra just being pushed behind his own line and uh, touches it down. So Tobias has come down oh, in favor of Kenya. Good physical hit from Mohanji when number eight from Tunisia picked up. Just kept him over the try line. Here you see him break off. Sorry, number 19, Owila. Good physical hit, backed up by the rest of the forwards. Number one, White. And CJ, and they keep him over the try line. So, uh, another change by the Tunisian uh, contingent. And this time, uh, it is uh, Ahmed Nasri who comes in uh, at uh, the front row. And the Kenya make uh, another change. Aldimo goes off at uh, fly half. And uh, Kennedy Adola, winning his 29th cup for Kenya, comes on. So, a raft of changes by both sides. 
So do you expect uh, the players to take a bit of time to settle down? But uh, Kenya will feel hungry and quickly taken by Lyle. His first touch uh, just goes down. So Kenya looking to put pressure on that Tunisian defense once again. And it is Martin Owila who gets his try this uh, afternoon. Quick thinking by Lila Silegua. And it was uh, from the contact situation that uh, Martin Owila did get his try. Well, it was Owila who made the physical hit on the Tunisian number eight to keep him over the try line. That forced the scrum for Kenya. Quick tap from the new scrum half, and he just muscles his way over. Kenya scoring in all different sorts of ways. They move the ball wide, they can take people on physically. They're showing great prowess in all sorts of their game. Kids are down with the extras, putting Kenya at 72. And uh, it was a winner, just uh, being a part of the scoring brigade this uh, afternoon. 58 minutes played, Kenya at 72, Tunisia at 10, two tries by Tunisia. So the newer, fresher players for Kenya also looking to get onto the scoring sheet for their country this afternoon. Backwards by White. And uh, yet another poor take by Kenya, unable to catch these restarts. It's something that Jerome Power Water will certainly have to work on this coming week before they face Senegal. Yeah, it was a good kickoff from Tunisia. Good aerial work from, from their chasers. And they've just won the ball back, got a penalty. And they're pushing Kenya back in the half. Seja plays it to Mukeza. Mukeza just running at the Tunisian defense, looking for support. Holds it well, stays well. Still, uh, the flag already up uh, at the far end of the field. It was that uh, Mukeza just beating one man, a second man, but uh, good holding there by Oid Abdallah. Didn't want to be embarrassed by Mukeza. Yeah, set the gap. I end the number. So it will be a Tunisian line-out. Certainly to have their work cut out this uh, afternoon. That one picked up by Ham Dimitri. So mauling it towards the Kenyan line. Kenya on the back trot. But they're regathering themselves. But the arm already out by the referee. So it will be a Tunisian penalty coming in uh, from the side is the call. And that's on uh, Oscar Simeo guilty of joining the mall incorrectly. So Tunisia will have a bit of a conference before deciding what to do. And uh, Ashraf Diff just looking for the corner, doesn't find touch. Mokidza picks it, plays it wide. I brought his best pass, but now Seja does the cleanup in midfield. Really Held down up. by three Tunisian defenders. And support coming in from Kenya. Lyle plays it wide. Uh, Mohanje dumped immediately a penalty. Quickly taken by Kenya. Yeah, it's a dangerous tackle here. Just lifts him over the uh, the 180, over the 90 degree, and. Um, Potentially a yellow card, yeah. It doesn't seem like the referee's entertaining it, but he's going to speak to the ref to the captain of the Tunisian team. May explain his actions. So very fortunate for Saif Abdel Rahman. Very fortunate not to be in the sin bin. I think uh, the captain just being warned by the referee that uh, any more high dangerous tackles like that will not be entertained and the next player probably will go into the bin so that is a lucky let off there of four side abdurman but uh, kennedy adola now at the flyer position man and earning his uh, 29th cap for kenya will be looking to get the kenyan back line moving forward 61 minutes played at the rfea grounds 72 turned the score 
This game being played on the day that the British Lions and the New Zealand All Blacks uh, level equaled the series drew the series in New Zealand. So there's been plenty of uh, international rugby on the cast today. Good pen penetration there coming in from uh, Curtis Ililako. Also Kenya being a bit isolated, but uh, over the top it is. Quickly taken by Lyle. Kenya being a bit too careless. Need to calm down. Use the possession wisely, not to be in a hurry. They are ahead, so it's time to get things right now. Yeah, it's important for Kenya with all of their substitutions on the field not to loosen this game up, just to stick to the plan that they had in the first half, which has got them to this point of dominance in the game. So it's just about doing the basics well. They might have gone away from that in the last couple of minutes. Obviously very keen to get over the whitewash. There's a chance here from this line-out to get back to basics. So Kennedy Adola with a good kick, which will give Kenya an opportunity to race towards the Tunisian goal line. All eight players on the bench now, no longer featuring from the bench, but right in the field of play. Good catch there, Awila goes down. But Kenya keeping the possession. It looks like uh, Tunisia have stolen it from them. But back at uh, Kenyan base, they do well to recover. Lilako is going through and Nyambua. <coughs> Nyambua racing, isolated, but goes down, not held in the tackle. And still Kenya looking for a try. And it's a Steve Security Otieno who scores his first try in his debut game for his country. A proud moment for the young man. Yeah, it's the power game from Kenya here. They try to set up a ball, which was brought to ground pretty easily by Tunisia, but they were able to keep the ball. And then it was just about being direct and physical and finding the whitewash. So Kenya have shown that they can move the ball around, but they can also play the physical style of the game. And that'll be they'll be pleased with that. Not so far. A bit of water from the referee. As a referee and kicker await the tee. Darwin has had eight of his kicks successful out of the 12 he's attempted this afternoon. Kenya at the 77 point mark, 67 ahead of Tunisia. These two teams, this is their ninth meeting. With Kenya having won five out of the previous eight. And will be looking to make it six out of nine and certainly looking to have the biggest winning margin over the North African side. That one, uh, the flag goes up. So, Kenya 79. Yeah, you just see the physical game of Kenya. They got some very powerful forwards and powerful backs, and they're just using that close to the line. Come back for the kickoff. Important that they take this ball cleanly, keep the pressure on Tunisia. Abbas Karfami in his all too familiar position of uh, taking the restarts. This is an area that Kenya have to improve. And this time collected by Muhanji. Muhanji already wrapped up by the Tunisian. So quite isolated there as he received. But he does well too. And he actually loses that position but uh, not coming in through the gate. Coming on the side. And uh, Kenya do get uh, the, you're well good. the penalty you're not your from the referee. Now. Yeah, good take, off, good take from the kickoff from Mohanji. He's made, unfortunately lost the ball in the contact, but Kenya picked up the penalty. And it's a fantastic kick down the field onto the 22. Chance for them to play from the line out. So 40 minutes left in this game. Kenya with another line out from the penalty. There was seven out of uh, the nine. Good catch coming in from Kere. Picked up by Tenor, but he drops it. The cleanup coming in from Simiu. He does well. Kambeli, this is a man. Kere unable to hold the ball. Lies Tunisia on the counter. Looking to catch Kenya Nape. Big kick into the Kenyan half. Easily picked up. Oh, dropped by Tony Onyango. And does well to just go through the Tunisian defense.
But a poor pass to Mukeza. Mukeza able to collect and clean. But they're making it life hard for the winger. Kenya making life hard for themselves. Asilegua plays it to Chenge. Chenge to Asilegua once again. Plays going wide, looking on the short side. Looking for holes on the short side is Seje. Asilegua at the base. Finds Nyambua. Nyambua just steps, beats one man, plays it wide. Now, good run there from Curtis Lilako. Bumps off and does well to deliver. Asilegua with a good support play coming in from Kere. And Kere makes it 84 points for Kenya. Nice support coming in for Asilegua. Brilliant interpassing from the Kenyan team. They've just been able to keep the ball alive, move the ball quickly from Rux, and there they just make a couple of passes inside and outside. Kira gets over the try line. I must say he's been pretty impressive in this game today. So David Mokeza looking to have another stab at the sticks. Nine out of 13 is his record so far. Two more points for Kenya through Darren Mukinza's boot. And this was Asiligua showing some good enterprise as well as good support play coming in from Eric Kerry to add another five pointer for the Kenyan side. So then Fala Flanka getting his second try of the game. And uh, the casualty list for the Tunisians just uh, on the increase. They do have another player about to be stretched off. Because you are playing a lot of game, I will let you play. Okay. So I have, I have understood that well what, what they are doing, but since you are just throwing a try every time you touch the ball. Onto the stretcher. <laughs> but I, I will have a look. Okay. It's not, it hasn't been easy for the Tunisian bench this uh, afternoon. So the captain Abbas Harfami just uh, consoling his player who's about to be stretched off. Uh, telling him not to worry, we'll do the job while you're away and uh, you'll be okay. Good encouraging words there coming in from Abbas Harfami. Abbas, one of among the most experienced players, in fact the most experienced player today winning his 50th cap. So it's a half century of caps for the captain as a Tunisian player being uh, stretched off uh, from the field of play here at the RFVA grounds in Nairobi. So the half centurion, Abbas Harfami, captain as well for the day, looking to get Tunisia underway with another restart. Muhanji unable to hold. You are not but, uh, playing ball, just playing the player. tackled in the air, calls for the referee. So it will be a penalty to Kenya. Yeah, Mahanji's been pretty competitive in the air since he came on, but just unable to take that cleanly. And penalty to Kenya. They're going for touch, and they'll be looking to launch another play from their lineup. Good kick coming there from Kennedy Andola. Wanting to play it into the Tunisian half. Tunisia have considered nine penalties to Kenya's seven in this game so far. 86-10, the score, the home side comfortably, if not overwhelmingly, ahead of their North African opponents. Security Otieno plays it to Chenge. Chenge straight into the traffic and stolen, but uh, referee called it illegal. And this time there will be a card. There will be a card for the number 22, Nasser Nisri. Yeah, just come onto the field. That's a silly penalty. That's a ruck formed. He can't play with his hands there. Disrupting play. A justified yellow card. He'll be even disappointed with that. He's just come onto the field. Kenya march up the field closer to the Tunisian try line. So the advantage in terms of numbers is uh, with Kenya. Kenya with uh, 15 men. 
to Tunisia's 14. And uh, in case you're watching this game, just know this game is uh, coming to you on Quesse Free Sports. Wherever you are, whenever you can, whatever you're doing, the rugby action from the RFEA ground uh, is with Quesse Free Sports. Good white ball, Mukinta. Darwin with yet another try. Kenya into the 90s. It's a 91 for Kenya. Mukidza with a try. Well, Sejia makes a big part in this play here. He does the initial carry, he makes a nice little offload inside, and then receives the ball on the next phase with a fantastic overhead pass. Beats two defenders and puts uh, Mukidza into the corner. Sejia been fantastic in this game so far. Excellent try there by Darwin Mukidza. It will be Kennedy and Dola. Kenya have now changed kickers. Mukidza being allowed to rest his boot. While Kennedy and Dola looking to get his name onto the score sheet. Previously, Kenya's first choice fly half, but has gone down the pecking order. Behind Biko Adema, injured and uh, Isaac Adimo who started this game. So Kenny Andola will be hoping that uh, this opportunity that he gets now will work for him. Plays his club rugby at the Kenya Commercial Bank, KCB. And the flags go up. And Kennedy Adola gets his first point in this game. This is a try scored by Mokidza. His club mate at the Kenya Commercial Bank. And Mokidza has his fair share of points. This time, Kenya marginally better with the restart. Taken down by Otieno. Asilegua. And it's Kenya playing it wide. Seje beats one man. Nice offload to Muhanji. Muhanji on the run. Let's go straight into Abbasar Hamid. Abbasar Hamid as well to hold him. So place on the ground. Asilegua looking for a runner. Gets support from Tony Opondo to Nyango. And still Asilegua. Referee says play on. Asilegua picks it. Just going through that defense like slicing through butter. And Kenya looking for. 100 points in this game but the referee did spot the infringement so it will be back to a penalty for Kenya oh that's one knocked off by the Tunisian winger. Kenya didn't find touch, but they do manage to at least get uh, a scrum down. Yeah, and Dollar didn't quite make the touch line there. Unfortunate for the Tunisian player, knocked it on. Scrum down to Kenya. They got a chance here to go for the line. There's six minutes left, seven points to the uh, century mark, and they'll be keen to look out to get over the try line for one more. Well, Kenya with eight handling errors compared to Tunisia's five. So at least that's one contest that Tunisia are winning in this game. The crowd looking for a hundred points. Still within time, plenty of time, six minutes to go in this game. As Dilegua just puts it in. Otieno at the back, at the base of the scrum, picks it, plays it wide. Seje plays it to Muhanji. Mohanjo offloads it to Otieno once again. Otieno racing towards the line but brought down there by Hashem Skelfi. And Kenya losing the possession of that ball. So this desperate defending coming in from the Tunisians. Refusing, refusing to concede a try late in the game. And they do keep the possession. So it's Kenya now being put on the defense. Tunisia looking to run it deep from their half. Tackle coming in from Mohanji. And the player not releasing that ball. 
But the referee not calling it, so allowing Tunisia to set their platform. And the new man, Nasser Misui, just getting involved. Standing fastest to the Tunisian players. Abbas Hanhami, the captain. No hands, Green! Is going to ground, the rock formed. And Tunisia keeping possession, just looking to deny Kenya vital possession at this point in time. And that ball out. And that is not on play on. And the referee. They play on, play the advantage. Curtis Lilako for Kenya. Get isolated, stolen by Tunisia. But uh, the ball knocked forward, and the referee says, Enough of that nonsense. We shall have a scrum down. Very scrappy couple of minutes from both sides. Stripping each other in the tackles, losing the ball in rucks. But can you come out on the positive side of it? They've got a scrum again inside the 22, left hand side. Got all their backs across. They've got a chance with four minutes to go to score one more try. So, four minutes left in uh, this uh, game that Five. you're watching on Quest of Free Sports. Six. Wherever you are, whatever you can, whatever you're doing. Uh, Remember, it's a Quest of Free Sports. It's an Africa Gold Cup rugby contest between Kenya and Tunisia. Asilegua plays it wide. Andola looking for Opondo. Opondo runs straight to the Tunisian defense. Close the line, they're about five yards away from the line. So Kenya will have to grind their way. Otieno bumps off one man support from Owila. Tunisia defending. Asilegua plays it wide. Oh, poor hands there from Nyambua. He butchered that opportunity for a try. George Nyambua. Yeah, Seje again with a nice touch. Kenya had a lot of numbers on the side. Just weren't able to hold on to the ball for Nyambua. He's been very good in this game. His work rate is outstanding, but just couldn't hold on to the ball for that opportunity to get over the trial and get close to the 100 points. So another Tunisian player on the ground. It hasn't been the easiest of games for the North Africans. The fans still demanding their 100. They're certainly enjoying themselves as Hamza Beggy gets back to his feet. Not been easy, and he's only come in as a second half substitute. What about those who played the whole 80 minute game? So Kenya putting pressure on that Tunisian defense. Cool temperatures here in Nairobi, excellent conditions for rugby. Trash. Good turnout as well. Kenya you will be having back-to-back -back games this week against Tunisia, next week against Senegal. The scrum goes down. The real line play to continue. And that one that put and received by Tony Onyango. Onyango to Mukeza. Mukeza makes the best of that poor pass. Puts it in the air blocked but the chase is on by Mohanji and Opondo. Tunisia still maintaining the possession the clock at about uh, one and a half minutes to go in this game Tunisia now with possession on a run it's Tunisia who are looking to score not Kenya but uh, that pass wayward out Tunisia have another player on the ground yeah, Kenya have had so much attack in this game that just slipped up in defense, didn't get enough numbers around the ruck. Gave Tunisia a couple of passes to make in there around the corner, but so much attack. Kenya haven't really been tested in defense. Badi Damulo on the ground. Possibly a bit of a high tackle coming in from Kennedy Andola. So we'll receive treatment. The clock will stop. About uh, 40 seconds to play in this uh, very exciting encounter. And that was the uh, bit of a high tackle there coming in from uh, Kenny and Dollar on uh, the fullback, Badi Damuf, who plays his club rugby in uh, Tunisia. The fans there just uh, having a discussion, maybe quite satisfied uh, with the money they've paid for today's game. Good to see Badi up on his feet. To allow for play to continue. 
93-10, the score it is with 40 seconds to play. Oscar Simiu, second game for Kenya. Good catch there by Kere. Otieno has been a powerhouse since coming on as a second half substitute. Just brushing off the Tunisians like flies away. Still Kenya keeping possession. Astiligua plays it to Andola. Andola looking for support. Mukiza coming in onto the left side. Astiligua then working on the short. Tunisia have numbers in defense. But Kenya keeping the possession. Still Astiligua playing it wide. Good run coming in from Chenge. Possession it's Oje who stands in at scrum half. Lilafu plays it wide. Nice Mukiza. Muhanji on the run. Abdallah picks up by Kere. Kere offloads it to Mukiza. So Kenya doing well to keep it in the field of play. Kililaku keeping it in. The referee has his arm out already. And Kenya still playing the advantage. Sim Iyu goes down. And Asilegua does well to retain. Andola just uh, kept the ball. And still Kenya just inching towards the try line. Ikimali, OJ plays it to Chenge. Chenge plays it to OJ. And OJ will get 98 points for Kenya. Kenya scored their 98 points. Oh, it's a good build up from Kenya. They keep the ball fantastically well. They're using one or two men in the ruck, not really contested by Tunisia. And they're able to work around the corner, going the same way. And then Chenge, who's been very good, offloads to RG. He's a prolific try scorer. And Kenya edge closer to the 100 mark. All eyes on Kennedy and Dollar. Because Kenya are just two points shy of the 100 point mark in this uh, Africa Gold Cup rugby match against Tunisia. So Kenya definitely getting their campaign back on track with a very powerful win that will send strong signals to the rest of their opponents in this uh, competition. And that was already one-on-one. -on -one. Uganda will be watching, Namibia will be watching, Zimbabwe will be watching, and certainly Senegal, who are the opponents next week, uh, will be watching. A message has been sent by Kenya on this performance. So it's Kenya with 98. Can Kennedy and Ola get the two points to put Kenya on three digit scores here at the RFUEA grounds? And the flags go up. Kenya with a historic 110 victory over the Tunisian side and the fans ecstatic with this result. Tunisia kept totally scoreless in the second half. Yeah, Kenya very good in this game. Had a lot of possession throughout the half. Their line out was fantastic, very impressive. Threw a lot to the back, peeled off a lot of the back. Very good line out and they played with width and attack. You got to say that about them, very good side. And the defense wasn't really tested in this game and when it was, for a couple of instances, Tunisia did open them up. Tunisia will be pleased with a bit more width in their attack, but they were very poor in defense. A lot of missed tackles, a lot of injuries picked up. Well done to Kenya, fantastic performance. And the players congratulating themselves, the Kenyan players, for a historic win. A good return back into this competition uh, after having drawn the first game. Uh, the full-time score here at the RFA grounds uh, is Kenya, 100 points, uh, Tunisia, 10. So, so this is the final try that picks up the century of points. It was Chenge who was outstanding in this game. Offloads to the prolific try scorer OG. He scored a couple in this game and it just brings up the 100 for Kenya. Landmark score for this team 
So the full-time score once again here from the RFBA grounds. Uh, it's Kenya 100, Tunisia 10.